Garika Gordon, was arrested on suspicion of murder. The body was identified as Phoenix Nets. Susan Kalman is off on holiday. Woo! And you're all coming with me. It's a week-long trip. <laughs> with fun-packed visits to our favourite resorts. I'm making ice creams in South End. And building sand castles in Great Yarmouth. <laughs> so get your chips, book your b and and we're off. Jodie Chesney's killers were caught. The footage released as 19-year-old drug dealer Svensson Ongakui was sentenced to at least 26 years in prison for fatally stabbing 17-year-old Jodie. She was sitting in a park with friends when she was stabbed in the back. 23-year-old Arthur Colley to murder after the 14-year-old girl he's accused of strangling passed away today. The father of 14-year-old Daisy Paulson, known as Jupiter, says his daughter was removed from the machines, keeping her alive around noon today. She'll live on through organ donation. She was found with more than 20 stab wounds. A 35-year-old Anthony Mele Jr. was having dinner with his wife at the Aloha Steakhouse on the promenade in Ventura. His five-year-old daughter was on his lap, and his parents say he was covering her in kisses when police say a homeless stranger, Jamal Jackson, walked walked into the restaurant and without warning stabbed Mealy in the neck. Mealy's father says at the hospital, his granddaughter whispered to him. 41-year-old Antoine Brown in custody tonight. Five employees were stabbed with what was described as a common pocket knife and transported to the hospital. One of them in serious condition. 36-year-old Darren Pencil, who just minutes later would be involved in a deadly confrontation, turned violent. In images shown to the jury but too graphic to be released publicly, the victim is seen being stabbed 18 times in just 25 seconds. Aaron Pencil admits possessing a knife but has pleaded not guilty to murdering Lee Pomeroy.